Hi, and welcome to another video tutorial on using the new features in Video Studio X3. I've been concentrating lately on the new applications that have been added to Video Studio, namely Burn and Easy Edit. I've already covered editing video in Burn, now I want to cover the same topic in Easy Edit. Both Burn and Easy Edit have limited video editing abilities, but Easy Edit gives you a few more choices, since it's a little more advanced than Burn, but fewer choices than Advanced Edit. The way the apps work in Video Studio allow users with different levels of expertise to work where they are most comfortable or where their movie making requirements are best suited. Where in Burn you can trim, rotate, and add searching criteria to video clips, Easy Edit allows that and more. Let's take a look, shall we? I've launched Easy Edit and it first takes me to the media organizer here. I'll isolate my video clips and double click on the one I'd like to edit. This takes me to the video editor. By the way, your clips can also be in any of the media trays like you see here and you can still double click and edit them. Alright, I want to trim off some of the beginning of this clip. I will now move the playback dot to where I want to cut it. Luckily, I can see the frames of my clip here in the timeline, so finding the right spot is pretty easy. Now I'll click the Trim Video tool at the top. Two things happen. Part of my clip is highlighted, and a dialog box shows up asking me which part of the clip I want to keep. I'll click the Keep Selected, and it tosses the part that's not colored. Other choices include keeping both parts, but cutting the clip in two, or just saving this particular frame. Why save a frame? Well, a lot of websites take a frame that represents what the movie is about and make it a button to click on to launch the movie. It's called a poster frame. Or you can just save it to print it out as a photo later. So I'm done with this clip, so let's go back and grab another one. When I return, notice we now have a new clip, the edited one, up here. Video Studio won't replace the original, so I can still use it to take other parts out of it if I wanted to. Now, let's open up this rather dark clip here. I have a major issue here. It's in the wrong orientation. I find this happens a lot when folks, yeah, me included, forget that when you use a digital camera to take videos, can't turn it on its side to take portrait-oriented videos. This is what happens. Now, I know of only one other application that has a specific tool to fix this, and no, it's not from Adobe. Go ahead and Google the term rotate video and you'll see this is a rampant issue without any easy fix. But watch this. All I have to do is click the Rotate button here. It's just as easy as rotating a picture. The clip is also a bit dark. Let's see if I can fix this a little bit. If I mouse over more tools here on the right, I have some tools that may help fix the quality of my movie clips. First thing I'm going to do, though, is click on the thumbtack so it stays open while I use it. First one I think I should use for obvious reasons is brightness. That's getting there. Now let's try the white balance. White balance attempts to restore the natural color temperature of a clip. You can do this by telling it what light source it's supposed to be coming from. Unfortunately, this isn't the best clip for this option because the lighting is so minimal to begin with. And besides, I can't remember what type of lighting it was, but you can try it with your own clips and see what results you get. I've found that underwater shots can take the best advantage of white balance adjustments. Last thing I want to do is take out some of the, well, noise out of the picture. By noise, I mean the artifacts, such as grains and speckles that make the clip not look as good or as smooth as it could. Don't go overboard with this one or the clip will look too smooth. When you choose an effect, Video Studio will wait a couple seconds to see if you're done editing your settings before it applies it. To speed it up, just click outside the toolbox and it will make the adjustment quicker. As you can see, that's also a good significant improvement. Other choices include reducing shake, which will attempt to reduce the vibrations that may occur with smaller cameras and those without anti-shake features. You can also add tags which are search criteria that get embedded into the metadata of your file. That makes finding photos and videos much easier to search for than trying to add everything into a file name. And details shows you basic information about your video clip. Oh, and one last thing, 
If after you make a bunch of edits on your video clips or photos and you want to go back to the original, you don't have to hit undo repeatedly. You just need to click the revert to original video button up here on the top. Much easier, right? You can also undo that move with the undo button and it'll go back to the end. Excellent. Notice how much we improved our clip with just a few clicks? So, there you have it again. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you join me in another Video Studio video tutorial.